try and get them all eight. Doesn't always work out, but we try. We're live? What's up? Oh, I love that. But we're actually, we're live now, so we're ready to start. Welcome, so, everyone. Welcome to the 2023 DigiPen Showcase. Woo! That is the audience response that I wanted to hear. Thank you all so they much for ready coming. ready to go. All right. I'm Doug. I'm Andy. Nice to meet you. And we, uh, we are among the large team of teachers who teaches the 300-level uh, game classes here at DigiPen. Junior class. And so uh, raise, your hand if, raise your hand again if you're a junior. Who's here from the juniors? All right. We've got a few of our reps here. Oh, That's yeah. good. That's good. If you're a sophomore, you'll see us next year. That'll be cool. If you're a freshman, you'll see us in a couple years. Two years. If you're a senior or a master's student, We've sorry we missed you. you. No, no, we, well, some of us saw him. Some of us saw him. Okay, it's true. It's true. Uh, but uh, if, you're, if you're still filtering in, come on in. Have a seat. We're just getting started. This is good. So let me just get out my script here. Make sure I know what to say. I thought we were just... Uh, yeah. No, it's... Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, no, see, it, it just says wing it. So um, I think we're going to be okay. All right, so... Yeah, um, let's just wing it. Let's swing it. All right, so we're going to begin... Uh, by looking at, all, we're gonna look at all these games from all these students. If you're watching at home and you don't even know who the heck we are, we teach you how to make video games. We have all these, these students who've made games for one, two, in some cases, three semesters, and they all worked super hard, and we're gonna finally get to show off and enjoy uh, a glimmer of what their games are like. The tip of the iceberg, because of course this is just a video, but the real thing they made is a game, so you know what I'm saying. Uh, this is a great time of year. This is the chance, this is our opportunity to celebrate. Yes. All the hard work for an entire year, sometimes, sometimes three semesters. Exactly, an additional semester on the end of that. So this is a great time for all of us, and I think it's no reason for us to continue to yammer on, so why don't we go ahead and uh, begin talking about the first category of games, the Masters games. So uh, that will be, uh, we're gonna transition real quick here on this screen here. I think it's gonna work. Anyway, why don't you talk a little bit about, what, about that? So the Masters program are made up of uh, computer science students. They're all software engineers. Um, for most of them, this is their first time making a game. Um, the games that you're going to see are all built on custom engines. All right, So these are engines that the students made themselves, and now they've made a game using their own engine. And it's not just that it's custom engine. They had no like middleware. Like They got to use FMOD for audio, but they didn't get to use any like libraries. You know, And so that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty big, I think. So uh, yeah, and, and, there's, and they're all CS majors, basically, right? There's no yeah. design majors or art students in there. It's just a bunch of engineers. Yeah, and oftentimes they're small teams. Yeah, that's right. I think they're like three to five person teams. I think they're all five and six person this particular five year. Five and six this year. Yeah, but that's still a small team. So uh, yeah, well, uh, should we, are we ready to, to roll the, uh, the feed there? I think we'll go ahead and get going here. All right, we're going to get playing now. There we go. All right, there let's enjoy go. the Masters games. Here we go.
All right. Let's give it up for the master students. Let's hear it. Well, right. that was very lovely. Uh, awesome. So why don't we move on then to the next category of, of, of projects here. The freshman? Uh, the freshman games, exactly. Right. Freshman yeah. it is. So these are uh, one semester projects. Yep. And this year we have projects from two different freshman level game courses. One of them that is only game design majors, BAGD students, and the other one that is only CS majors. Yep. And those are, uh, we have a wide variety of BSCS courses, or uh, uh, programs here yep. at Digimon. But, so, one of them is just the, the BAGDs, and the other one is all these CS students. Yeah, so the freshman engineering students are building their first games using custom engine. Custom engine that they made, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and the design students design are students their first game this, right. This, this is this is their engine. this is well th they're using well, Unity and they actually they, they worked on Unity in the previous semester just kind of get used to it and know how to make it and they made right. a solo project in the first semester but this is the first team, team project team project exactly and it's all in Unity for the for, for the for those uh, the the design students and in any case they're you know three to five person scrappy teams you know and uh, you know short games little you know three to five to ten minute game experience. And, um, but they made some brilliant stuff, and you often see a lot of really cool, interesting things out of the freshman level. So I think let's, see it. let's just go ahead and take a look. All right.
Give it up for the freshman. Let's hear it for the freshman. What, what was up with that chess game? I don't know. I was trying to follow it. I couldn't. I, I think my brain isn't big enough. Interdimensional chess. Yeah, just my brain's too I small. I want to try that. I got to try it. Yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. Uh, all right. Well, uh, I guess we should move on then, right? All right. Who's next? The sophomores. Sophomores. Sophomore. Oh. Uh, it's we got some serious now. We got some sophomore fans in the audience. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, well, right. what's different about sophomore? Okay, well, a few things. So first of all, the sophomores. This is the first time that the our students get a chance to do work on a two-semester game project. That's probably the biggest thing. So they get a whole another semester to Twice work. Twice as much time. Exactly. Uh, so that's that's the that's the first thing. Uh, I would say the second thing is that it's their first time to work in a truly multidisciplinary team. So we got CS students design students, audio students, in a lot of cases art students, um, and it's they're, they're all working together to make a game project. And the, the class sizes vary from, I think, three to like 12. I mean, it's just huge differences we get. But the cool thing is, the, the, the CS, the teams with CS students, they're all making custom engines in C++. And the teams that don't have CS students are using Unity. And so we got we, we got that split there, you know. It's freedom to choose your your team composition and that dictates what you're using. So now this, this is our first really opportunity to get together and and function as a true team with the different disciplines represented, figure out how to work together, mm -hmm. uh, learn the leadership roles on a team. There's, there's a lot of great new stuff that yeah. the freshman or the sophomore classes introduced. The, the team dynamics and leadership really takes a, a prominent role here. So, all right, well, why don't we just go ahead and roll on in here to the sophomore videos. Check it out.
Welcome to our company, Parcel Dynamics. As they do. And only employee of our inline initiative. You must deliver your packages in a timely and efficient manner. Show up for work on time as your scheduled route may change. Enjoy our company's complimentary music player. Luna Sword. Choose your champions. Select your skills. And do battle with the Celestials above. Rise. And claim new skills. Even if you fall, you must ascend again. Congratulations.
Like, let's give it up for the sophomores. Let's hear it. Oh. I, I, Doug, I, I just want to go on record that I challenge you to a match of Strike Back. Oh, yeah, yeah, Strike Back. Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll do that. I mean, I'll win, but sure, that's yeah. fine. Yeah, let's well, do it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. lunch. Hey, lunch? We'll put lunch on it. Okay, sure. Yeah, we'll lunch on it. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, just a video. I challenge you right now. <sighs> oh, my God. Okay, fine. Andy will do it. Okay. Have you played it before? No. No, I mean, But it looks like a game that I just crushed you on. It looks really cool. I heard that it has a procedural animation system that would be very impressive for a senior project, and that's a sophomore game, so mm. it's kind of neat. I just, uh, we're... All right. Looks cool. I just Bring it cool. on. All right, all right. Well, uh, who's I, next? I guess the next, next is our unabashedly favorite category. Uh, yeah, that's true. It's the true. junior we games. Will not be biased towards this class. Well, because of course we teach this, these students, so so we feel kind of extra proud of these ones. But um, but yeah, these games. Uh, all right, what's different about junior than? Okay, all right. He's, qu he's quizzing me on all these things. He's quizzing me on all these things. There's two big differences. There's a big difference. All right. The first one is the word junior starts with a J and sophomore starts with an S. That's what we're talking about, right? Okay. Yeah, all right. That's one of them. Okay, that's one. Of them. The other one is three. That's the third difference. So. Okay. So the, the, these are three D games for the first time in a, in a game project, a major game project at DigiPen. All right. Yeah. 3D. Unless you like cheated, you know, in your sophomore year or freshman year or something. Sometimes people do that, but. 3D games, and the other one is that this is, the, the, all, all of these projects were made in Unreal and Unity, as opposed yeah. to custom engines. Commercial game engines. Commercial right. game engines. And so um, the, the nice thing about that is it really lifts the burden off of the engineering students to make sure that they have something that will support this, these art teams that they may have. Uh, right. Uh, the way I look at it, I mean, I, yeah. I, Go ahead. we both have CS degrees, but um, the nice thing I about working on a commercial game yeah. engine is that it frees the engineers to really work on what makes the games unique, the gameplay, and not work on the infrastructure of the engine itself. Yeah, exactly. So you can expect like a higher level of mm. support for your design team uh, as far as the gameplay goes. So. And these are all, uh, you know, as before, they're all multidisciplinary teams. We got folks of all stripes and all these different teams, ranging in size from six up to 21 this year, I think we had. 21 is a yeah, big team. Yeah, a big team. And so we're going to see a lot of these, uh, a lot of these games of different, different sizes and different types, and some of them have more artists and some of them have no artists and so on. So lots of cool variety here. It's amazing work. It really it's is. It really is. So I guess we don't need to talk anymore. Let's just go ahead and watch the videos let's here. So let's do the junior, junior games. Here we go.
Hello? Hello? Oh, thank God. Someone's alive. We lost communications with this ship a few days ago. We're still trying to piece everything together ourselves, but we'll tell you what we know so far. Considering that you were the first person to respond to us, we assume that most, if not all, of your fellow crewmates are incapacitated or dead. You're not safe without some protection. That was unexpected. It appears these life levels are more clever than we initially thought. We've started the self-destruct sequence. You only have a few minutes to escape. My analysis shows that the safest route to the escape pod is to go around the exterior of the ship.
All right, let's hear it for the juniors. God, I have to admit, I get a little choked up. I'm going to miss this. I am too. This class. Those are some good games. They're all good, but I, I love those games. I love those, those students. All right. All right, we'll move on. We got a couple flavors of seniors. Oh, we do, because the seniors are next, but, yep. and you're going to see on the word here, it's going to say senior games or something like that. But the thing is, uh, there's two different flavors, exactly. Two flavors of seniors. So, so the first one we're going to see is the 400, 450 game projects. 400, 450, yep. So why don't you talk a little bit about that, Andy? So the 400. Because you've taught that class I before, have right? taught yeah, this class. Right, so. I've taught this class. So the, the, the seniors at the, in the 400, 450 class, um, they're designers, they're engineers, um, and really the, the focus of this class is to allow students to, to sort of follow their dreams. And it's about passion projects. It's about portfolio pieces. It's kind of like all the guardrails are off in this class. Um, they can do mobile games. They can do PC downloadable games. They can do VR games. So you're going to see uh, quite a bit of different stuff. Yeah. All right. And uh, should we just go ahead and get into it? Let's just get into Let's it. Let's get into it. Here we go. All right. Seniors.
All right. All right. Let's hear it for Let's the, for the uh, 400, 450 senior games. Sorry. I got to check out that Graplania. Dude, I mean, it's how like much? kind of game I would just love to hate. No. Really? This is like, oh. Have you played Super Castlevania 4 for the SNES? No. You haven't? You gotta so. play it. No, I stay away from that. Like Super Meat Boy games like that. Oh, I love that game though. I mean, you could t- the them. title logo was them, clearly inspired them, by the, the the font and everything. It was really cool. Yeah. Uh, so, well, we have one last category. One last one. So this category is the Game 375 projects. Oh. We got a lot of cheers in the audience here. So these are some big projects. The thing here big is teams. big teams and, and big uh, in terms of time also, because this is where they get a third semester in their senior year to spend on their junior project. So the, 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 the projects we see here, these are senior level projects, but they were junior projects. Developed during their junior season. Last year, exactly. Year. So, uh, and you know, some of the junior level uh, projects we saw here today, maybe next year, they're gonna we're gonna see them in the uh, 375 category. So, in any case, the whole point here is this: at the beginning of the year, they go through a green light process. They apply their game. And if they get accepted, then they get a whole bunch of art students added to the game, and a bunch of audio sometimes, and the, the bunch some of more designers, team shifting designers, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. It's like they, it's like they. Uh, they turn Super Saiyan or something like that. It's really cool. And then um, they get all these resources, and then they go on to make this beautiful thing. One more, one more semester, they can add polish, and they can get it ready for production and for pr- publication, and potentially get it out on Steam. It's a very exciting process. Just cheering yeah. going on here. Yep. We're, we're, we're sure to see some of these things on Steam. Uh, so anything else left yeah, unsaid? No, I think you summarize it quite nicely. That's about it, I think. Yeah, all right. Well, let's go ahead and roll on in to the 375. Let's project. do it. Yeah. My grandfather used to say, the world is eager to be explored. But not everything should be unearthed. Power turned to ruin. Ruin turned to history. And history will be unearthed.
Hello, valued customers. It's me, the one and only Randy Retail, esteemed CEO of Funshine Superstore. And I'm thrilled it's time for our annual Ultra Mega Turbo Never Been Seen Before Super Sale Extravaganza. That's right. It's the time of year where we celebrate you, our prized consumers, and your ability to spend. So fill out your shopping list and buy as much as you can for your local economy! Egg em, freeze em, fruit em, whatever! We don't care and not held by the what you do! Come on down to your local Funshine Superstore and enter the Grocery Gauntlet! Son of a... All right, let's hear it for the Game 375 project. Let's hear it for them. That so, it? well, that, that's that's it. that's it for the scheduled programming, and uh, we want to thank you all so much for attending. So, let's hear it for everyone who participated in the the DigiPen 2023. Uh, what is it? The showcase. Okay. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I I have a lot on my mind um, because there's one more video we were, tr we were trying to fit in here, and we want to go ahead and just squeeze it in at the very end here. Uh, we had a team that wanted to submit theirs, and we don't know if we, we, we wanted to get it in. Uh, we're trying to be nice to you and let you, you know, let you get your game in here. So, um, all right, we have one more video, and uh, we're going to go ahead and I don't know if we should stop the stream or what do you think we should do? I don't know. Uh, you know. At this point, we're kind of being a little bit less, you know, formal about this, I think. So, uh, but um, eBay, why don't you come over here for a second? <laughs> Step on the camera. Uh, so, You can talk. It's okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, yeah. So you go ahead and just. Like, what What do you set up what we're seeing here? Okay. Uh, you like magical girls? <laughs> yeah. Well, we have a treat for you. We're gonna um, just like a. So do you have I'm one? gonna try so hard to stall while this is happening. Um, yeah. And if for all those who don't like magical girls, well, just take the magic. Well, I don't know. You might not like girls, but. Um, <laughs> Take it for what you want. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. All right, cool. It's All right, uh, let's see. What, what's the name of the team that made it? Tuxedo Toucan. Tuxedo Toucan. Okay, right are you from right that right team? There. Are you from that team? Yeah. All right, cool. Looks great. Oh. Yeah, raise your hand if you're from Tuxedo Toucan. We got a few people. All right, this is awesome. All right, cool. 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 So, so uh, um, we're just gonna try to get that that trailer downloaded here. Uh, you're welcome. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> are we still live? By the way, are we on Twitch? Are we still live? Is that okay? But we're still on here. I'm just gonna come here. All right, cool. All right. Um, I'll, I'll do that too. Do, How close yeah. can you get without getting What's that? In trouble? Dude, graduation. Oh my god, yeah. Let's just talk for a second here, all right? Because you're all here and you're not leaving until I say so. So uh, yeah, we got commencement on Sunday. Raise your hand if you're gonna be graduating. Let's hear it for all y'all. Congratulations. I'm making it through. We're all really proud of you. Um, and that's at the uh, Linwood something something. 
and it'll be great. And then there's the there's the reception. He's here. That's what I'm really excited about. Um, but that's going to be a lot of fun, and that's on Sunday. And I don't know what else is there to talk about. Grades are due on Tuesday. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very excited about that part. But um, I don't know. Yeah. So do we have the we're working on it still. We're close. Oh my God. We have it. We're just like going to download it now. This is awesome. Let's see if it works. Oh. This is a sophomore project, right? Sophomore. All right, cool. All right, let's roll it. Here we go. All right, no problem. With that, we really can finally conclude the 2023 DigiPen Showcase. Thank you all so much for coming. Um, Thanks, everyone. Look under your seats. There may be a prize. Just kidding. There's no prizes. But uh, I'm, off I'm off camera. Okay, I'm over here now. I'm on camera. All right, cool. Yeah, thanks so much. And drive home safely. And I'll see you. Take some, care, everyone. Yeah, sometime later. Bye. Good night.